AI. We use them, we love them, we cherish them. So today I will be showing you how to create a Node.js chatbot with Twilio and OpenAI. So right now I opened a folder and VS Code and I'm gonna run npm init and then I'm gonna import the libraries that I will use. So I'm just gonna run npm init real quick. So I'm just gonna click enter on all these. And next I'm gonna import the libraries. So npm i, uh, we will use express cores body parser and we're gonna use um, dot env which is for storing out the variables and we're gonna use Twilio. So, um, so let's install this and I'm just gonna make it index.js file here. Um, so here I'm just gonna put, just, I'm just gonna quickly initialize our stuff like cons express equals require express and then cons cores equals require cores cons body parser equals require body parser I'm just gonna say cons and I'm just gonna say here just require dot env dot config and dot env is for storing all the environment variables so I'm just gonna create so I can just um store my account sid and two little variables or any like secret variables like api keys and stuff we we can use a dot env variable and yeah so i'm just gonna create dot git ignore here and i'm just gonna ignore the dot env so um next i'm gonna initialize twilio um equals require twilio and then this is um importing the twilio library but we have to use we need to use it so we need to get access to it so i'm just gonna say const client equals new twilio and then i'm just gonna create two mockup variables here like dummy variables i'm just gonna say account sid but it's gonna be like something and i'm just gonna say const account i mean const auth token it would be something yeah so so we're gonna pass in account sid and auth token yeah so now we have to get our AP, our account sit and auth token from Twilio so we can start sending messages. So all you need is a Twilio account. You just register, you just register or log into Twilio and you just create a account and then you, you get a phone number and these are the three things to authenticate you in um, Twilio. So if we're going to use the API, we need these three things to um, send messages. So now that I'm in the .env file, I declared three variables here. And no one can see th these variables um, because we use the .git ignore. If you're gonna like work with a team or put it on GitHub, no one can see see the .env file. It's for like private and secret stuff. So I created three variables here, Twilio, um, account sid, Twilio auth token, and Twilio phone number. So I'm just gonna quickly make the account sid process dot env dot Twilio account sid. I'm gonna make some more process dot env dot Twilio auth token. Next, I'm gonna say phone number Twilio phone number process dot env dot Twilio phone number. So, so these are my variables here. So now I'm gonna create some API routes that I can use in Postman or like or any front end so i can fetch so i'm just going to make a organization thing i'm just going to say api routes and here i um i put in the a code line it's called const app equals express as a function and so now i can just do app.get um request and response well it comes with request and response and i'm just going to say response.send Hello. I'm just gonna make this message. Hi. And then I'm just gonna, but like, there's no port to go to. So I'm just gonna say app the listen 8080. Because if you have like a React run, React app running, it will be port 3000, but I don't want it to crash with that. 
So I'm just going to say 8080 or port doesn't matter. You can do any number. So next I'm going to go back to Postman. Go to Postman. And now I'm just going to run here. So I'm going to go package.json. I put down a script here. It's called nodemon index.js. Nodemon is a um, thing. It's like, it's like a library that will make um, code for you. No, it will make a server for you. Yeah, it will make server for you. And I'm just going to say npm start. So it will run this script here. So I can do npm start or npm run start. Anything is fine. So I'm just going to say here, um, local host 3000. I mean, I mean local host 8080. Sorry. Local host 8080. And I'm just going to send it. See? It now returns the... Um, Met the message, hi, or I can change this, hello, let me just save this, and then this, hello, see, and then it works now, this API route works now, and then next, I'm gonna create some middleware, so that means like, if you're gonna fetch from, um, if you're gonna fetch from for, um, front end, you will need middlewares, so I'm just gonna make middleware section here, middleware, just copy what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna say app.use cores as a function app.use body parser.json this is for um getting the data body from postman or anything or from postman or from your front end so I'm just gonna say app.use another one body parser the URL encoding and I'm gonna say extended true so here um, so here, these are my middlewares, and we're done with the middleware section. So next, I'm going to create a post request. So this post request will be, yeah, so this post request will be for running, sending people messages. So I'm just going to say post slash send. I'm just going to make a, a asynchronous function request and response. And I'm just gonna say app dot po no not app dot post sorry I'm just gonna say that I removed the um I removed the new tag from Twilio because it won't work with the new tag um so I'm just gonna say here client dot messages dot create here be a await function with a wait because it comes with a promise so i'm just gonna say um from the phone number and two i'm going to my phone number to okay so i just put in my phone number i'm just gonna say body it's gonna be a text so anything like um hello buddy how's life so I can put anything here. So I'm just gonna run this in Postman real quick. Sorry. So I'm just gonna quickly run this. So I'm just gonna say, gonna make a new request. It's gonna be post um, localhost 3000. Localhost 3000. So send, send. So here it will say, um, okay, it will. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so it says. Could not send. Hmm. So it says could not. Ah, oh, localhost eighty eighty. My bad. Sorry. So here. So here I'm just gonna. It arrived on my phone here, but like um. But like I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say re response dot send. Just gonna make hold on response dot status. Um, 200 dot send it will send some data data will be um will be response uh-huh so I'm just gonna send it again okay so now it has the um, data here it's gonna say send from your Twilio trial account and then it have it has arrived on my phone um, yeah so now that it works so we can move on so next I'm just gonna say app 
dot post dot um dot m sms and I'm just gonna make it a function no not an asynchronous function so here I'm just gonna say um make a new variable it's gonna be const messaging response equals twilio dot twilio I don't know what it's called um twilio dot re messaging response so next. I'm just gonna quickly say that um, const email equals new messaging response. That's what I just did. So um, so now, so now I'm just gonna say const. Just gonna make a response here. It's gonna be called um, email dot message. It's gonna be hello, hello there. So. I'm just gonna say here response dot right head two hundred and it's gonna say it's gonna take in a header, it's gonna be content type text slash XML. So now next I'm just gonna say response hold on. I'm just gonna say response dot end. I mean dot end with response dot end with twimmel dot two string. That's a function. So now, next, I'm just gonna go to my um, Twilio here. To my Twilio here, I'm just gonna go to um, phone numbers, manage active numbers here. And I'm gonna click on my phone numbers here that I know. So here, it's gonna be a URL here. It's gonna be something URL for you because I already done this in the past. So it's a webhook is a thing that it listens to whenever, whenever like um, a message comes in. It's gonna run this, fetch this URL. And I'm gonna add, run ngrock, ngrock, http, 8080, because it is running on port 8080. And here, now I got this, I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna go into this, or this. So I'm just gonna go here. For some reason, for some reason it works when I go through this one. This URL, but it, sometimes it doesn't work for me when I go through the this one for this one. I don't know why for me, but like, but we know that we got a API working now. So now I'm just gonna say that I'm just gonna say that it works now. So I'm just gonna say um, here to the phone numbers. I'm just gonna go to my uh, not my message log. I'm just gonna say uh, active numbers here, this number, and then I'm just gonna come here and replace this with um, respond, respond. So I'm just gonna say save configuration. So this will listen to whenever, whenever a message sent from this um, is sent from this, and then it will detect whenever there's a message sent from um, send. So, I'm just gonna now go on my phone and say that, um, hi, and it's gonna say, it says, send from your Trilio cloud account, hello there. Um, yeah, so, I got it, it works now that responding works, and now I'm gonna use the open AI API to do it. So, so basically, we need to install a library first. That is, hold on, let me create a new terminal. It's going to be called npm i open ai. Hold on, npm i open ai. Just run this. Just going to say, and then I just put this here. I just put it here. And you need to get a open ai api key, which I already got. and. Just just go into the OpenAI um, website and then you'll find a OpenAI API key and just create one. So now I've got my OpenAI key. I saved it in my .umd. So I'm just gonna run. So first off, I'm just gonna say that. So I created here. I'm just that um I just created two things here. So that means a configuration, a new configuration. It would take in my OpenAI key. And this OpenAI variable will be the authorized version that we can use OpenAI for. So, 
so we can do anything with this so i'm just gonna say now you can pause the video if you want so i'm just gonna say now that const a const ai response equals await it's gonna run open ai dot create chat completion so now i'm just gonna say the model will be gpt3 gpt3.5 turbo hold on and then let me i'm gonna say messages be like this it'll be a map so i'm just gonna say that um role be a user it can be any of these i'm just gonna say user so next i'm just gonna say mess i mean content content sorry content will be the message that we got so but how do we get the message that um i sent that um this sends so um so i'm just gonna say here cons message equals request dot body dot body this is something that twilio comes with so i'm just gonna console.log this first just gonna cons console.log message and then let me just type something in my chat hi i'm gonna type in hi again and then see it comes with this object um so what we care about here is body is what i sent through the message so i'm just gonna say here dot body mm -hmm. so now now it will know it will target this and it will come in a string so this i'm just gonna change to string with message and then and then next i'm just gonna say that um and then i'm just gonna console.log ai response this ai response so i'm just gonna um type here again hello chat gpt okay hopefully it logs okay it logs it logs this but there's a certain route here it's called um to target the data the choices i remember it's like this and then dot message right i think it's like this so i'm just gonna console the login hello chat gpt gpt okay so it says see it comes with a object here it's gonna be role assistant content hello there how may i assist you but it just says hello there here so i'm so but so i'm just gonna create a new variable const i response like this with no underscore i'm just gonna say const ai response equals this dot um content because this is what it's gonna respond with so i'm just gonna go here delete this but i'm just gonna do that again i'm just gonna undo that copy paste delete okay so now i'm just gonna change this with ai response response so so i'm gonna test it now so i'm gonna run here hello chat g hello chat gpt gpt it's gonna okay it says hello how may i assist you today i'm just gonna say tell me a joke about walmart okay just gonna say that again hopefully you respond okay okay so now that it works like the chatbot thing works yeah so that's all for this video um i know i haven't been uploading for a while because of school and other stuff so i'll i'll get a better upload schedule and i'll work no and not work i'll probably make a video like once in like a week and a half or something um or a week when i have time yeah so and also this video is heavily inspired by adrian twarog's um video about um about ai about ai integrating like a steve jobs chatbot into ai and yeah link in description by the way his video um yeah that's it so yeah